and welcome back. So let's get started with Real Housewives of Atlanta, episode four. Um, so let's just start at the very top. Greg came home from the hospital and the doctor said that he basically has what like he, I'm going to say, I'm going to call it an uh, issue with his heart rhythm. Um, he said that his heart beats, but like, It'll stop beating, then it'll beat again, and it'll stop beating. And I've heard of people having this before. Um, I actually have had a family member that had an issue with this. And um, basically what they do is they either give you a pacemaker or they can put this little wire in there that, like, I don't know how to explain it, where it, like, electroshocks the heart. It's almost like a pacemaker, but it's, they do the wires before you can get the wire procedure done or the pacemaker or something else. But anyway, so I hope he gets that done and he'd be okay. It's it's awesome that he didn't have a blockage because, you know, then most people that I know with a blockage, they have to go in and get stents put in. And I've heard of people having to have, like them having to go through the leg, the that vein in the groin to put stents in and take stuff from there, do stuff in the heart. I'm glad he didn't have to have all that procedure done and he's doing all right. And I hope he feels better soon because he looks like he just don't feel good. So, um, and then they covered this, the issue of Sheree with the domestic violence stuff. She still hadn't told her kids. She need to go in and tell them why she, uh, she talking about that. Um, they asked her to be brand ambassador for the, um, let me think what the name of it is. Let me see if I scribbled the name of it down somewhere. But they asked her to be brand ambassador for the domestic violence, but you don't, she doesn't, in my, this is my opinion, don't y'all forget this. She don't need to be worried about being brand ambassador. One, until she tell her kids. Two, till she's sure she's not going to get back with Bob. And she can't say she's not going to get back with Bob because when you on this show, you got to have a storyline and some ratings. And at some point, she may get desperate enough to be like, oh, well, Let's see, I might need to get back with Bob because, you know, I need a storyline. I may just try to need to be friends with him or whatever to see if I can work it back out. But um, it was the National Coalition of Domestic Violence that wants her to be the uh, brand ambassador. But I feel like she's just not ready for that because I can't. I just feel like at this point, it's too soon to say she ain't ever getting back with Bob because she's facing the fact that of what he did and his reaction to it but it's still not too late for bob to come back and say you know i'm really sorry to be sincerely sorry and learn from his mistake because like i said you have to have a storyline on this show so i don't know we'll have to see um then candy and todd are getting ready to um leave because candy has the photo shoot with the essence um, for the cover of Essence, which is awesome. Um, she, she's, she made the comment. This is what gets me. She made the comment that she's always wanted this. Well, even though you have this platform, she does need to take into consideration that being with the group Escape opens doors for her, for her because it wasn't until then that got her this Essence cover. Performing at Essence, all this stuff is what got her Essence cover. So, she needs to acknowledge escape and what that platform also has done for her while she's talking about she don't want to stay with them and all this kind of stuff. She just want to do the tour and be done. She she needs to realize, you know, but she killed the photo shoot. She looked beautiful. She did good. She was natural. Being typical Candy. Candy always kills stuff like this. Like, she's so pretty. And she always, it, this is the kind of stuff to me she's really good at, um, I knew Carmen was gone, but I don't, she mentioned something about what's his name, Qu Kwame or whatever his, where, is, where did he go? And she said, normally he helps with booking the rooms and stuff. So now it's just Dumb One. You remember when I told y'all in my last video that Dumb One eliminates everybody around Candy? He eliminate him too. Now it's just him. If it's going to be just you, boo, you need to get on some hotels. You always get your hotel room before you worried about your, get uh, be worried about your flight because they go hand in hand. Those two have to coincide together. You don't just book a trip and you don't book no room first. You got to call the hotel first before you can book a trip. What you talking about? 
So that's crazy. Whether you had to do a rent a bed and breakfast or a cottage, you gotta get that on lock. So um anyway, um let's see, who did they talk about next? Um the next thing everybody was waiting on to see the situation with Lauren and Candy. I meant Lauren and Portia. Lauren um go she went over to the Portia house or whatever and um And they talked about the salon and everything. And Portia did say at the beginning of the conversation that that um that she Lauren is part owner of the salon. But um the issue is Lauren feels like that everything with Portia is just growing so fast that she just just don't want to get like basically left behind. Like she doesn't want um Portia to just Forget about but forget about her because really I don't feel the same way. They don't have a contract, so at any time, this is how she's earning a, earning a living. Though Portia's not paying her as much as she should be paying her, she does need to pay her a little bit more still, so she can have, you know, more savings. Because like she said, what if Portia just ups and decides she's out a grown Lord Lauren's services and she wants to hire a a bigger service that leaves Lauren having to, um, without a job basically. So I understand her. And, and then too, it's been so much on her with her relationship issues or whatever she's having while she's staying with Porsche. I think they said something like some relationship issues or whatever and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, when they were arguing this figuratively, like when she said, I'll be out on the street, she's going to go stay with a friend or somebody. It was fig or at a motel. It's, I mean, a hotel. It's figuratively. It ain't like she dirt ball poor. She was, she, 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 she she's only staying with Portia because her home, um, uh, um, guess she got into it with, they said it, but I can't remember in the, the episode, two episodes, the second episode, why she was, Stand with Portia. So I hope her and um, her child's father get things back on track. Because I want to say that's what they said. But at that time they said it, it was kind of little to me. So I really wasn't paying attention. But anyway, moving on from, from that. Uh, Lauren do need to get a contract with Portia. So she don't have to worry about, you know, any of that happening. And she'll have something to fall back on. But, um. Let's see, they show Nene. Nene gets to finally sit down with her party planner. So, Nene had been on the show, and she's been doing her own thing. So, she, apparently, she hasn't been with her party planners in forever. So, she finally gets to sit down and talk to me. Her party, party planners are kind of encouraging her to make up with Portia. And she still doesn't see her issue with Portia, like... She making comments and stuff about she's being, uh, Portia was caught up in that stuff with those lies with Frazier. Nene, you always spewing stuff, but you lying. You lying about what you did to Portia. You lying about why Portia mad. You lying like you didn't do nothing to her. You hurt the girl feelings. You told her she should be taken out the show. You did what you did not own it. This is my only issue with you. Like, I don't have any other issue with you, but like, take a page out of candy book if you ask candy she say something she own what she said and she gonna tell you exactly what she said that's my why candy is one of my favorite people on here you need to take a page out of that book if you said it you said it if you own it own it we all know you said it the show has been on the show has been repeated you can probably hop on bravo now right now and go look at the show and see that you said it so I wish Portia would go on to pull up these receipts and go to the show and pull it up so she can see that she said it. Though we know it, but if she just needs to see it. Anyway, um, it's good. It's always good to see Marlo. It's good to see Marlo and Nene back talking. It's glad to see Nene back talking to everybody that she had a beef with and had trouble with, into it with. I'm glad that Nene has grown and she's more mature and... She's over those petty high school beasts now. And she's on her, her her grown woman stuff. That has been so good. So, um, they had Kenya and Sheree. They really, I'm glad they are showing them talking more now. They both love to work out. So, that was a perfect activity for them to go work out. Because they both 
that's all they do. But Kenya wants her to do a piece a PSA with her, which is a public service announcement, and and that and um like I said before, before she do it, tell her kids and make sure she not gonna be back with Bob. I don't personally think that she needs to be doing any public service announcements of yet because with this show, like I said, you gotta have a storyline and. You just, at this point, you don't know which way it's going to go. So, I think she, she needs to wait a little bit before she um, she ex accepts, accepts that. So, then we have Cynthia looking slayed as always. That, old, that wig she got on, honey. That old wavy, curly wig she got on. The color be so freaking perfect. Like, she is so gorgeous. Like... She's so, I mean, she's beautiful. And her and Will look so cute to me. Like, it, to me, I keep saying this. He looks different from her, the type she normally likes to pick up. She likes the type that's like Peter and Leon. They, they're a little bit more, I don't know if you call it macho or hard. Or, I, I don't know how to articulate it, but yeah. Um... I still think she should take it super slow with him um, to make sure that he really likes her for her and not for who she is and all that kind of stuff. Um, I like how she low-key leaked that, well, she low-key sent that picture to the tabloids because I'm going to tell you something. Cynthia was real smart because see, Cynthia going to dig him up. I mean, the, the media going to dig up everything they can about that man and she going to know all she need to know before she take it to the next level. Cynthia, I see you. I know exactly what you was doing. And, I, girl, you better use your platform. To, 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 that's what you better do. Because you don't want to be wasting your time with somebody that's just trying to use you. But, um, yeah, and I just don't let Will come to Lake Bailey till you let let um straight to the A and all of them get the T. So we can get get all the tea. Don't listen to boss and media take out all of them. All they news fake. We don't need none none for media fake out and boss. Uh, I think it was boss one of the day. I don't like they news, but yeah, we'll wait for straight to the A to uh get it. Okay, and then there's something else I think. Now she ain't talked to Peter. Heard from Peter. Peter ain't been studying her. And what I think. Peter gonna do. Peter gonna wait to the to Todd because it's gonna be Todd that run tell him. Gonna wait to Todd run tell him that Candy seeing somebody else. Then when he finds out Candy seeing somebody else, then, I mean, he 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 gonna wait to Todd tell him Cynthia seeing somebody else. And when he find out Cynthia seeing somebody else, then he gonna want to come jump in the picture and be back in her life. And all of a sudden all about her. He ain't stunning her. He couldn't even come to her birthday party. And I still think, and I don't care what nobody say, that Peter, Peter got somebody down in Charlotte. We seen that one video. That was obvious. That's why they they divorced. But I seriously feel like he's still kicking it with somebody down there. Um. So we find out that uh, Nene's going to go throw, throw this party or what have you. And so the party, um, uh, was interesting because I was wondering if anybody was going to call Portia. Because at first I thought it was going to be Cynthia, but Cynthia called Derek J. Then I wonder if it was going to be Sheree, but Sheree called Kim. Kim is back. Did y'all hear me? Kim is back. I, I love Kim. I watch her show. I told y'all that before, but anyway, uh, I guess since Kim used to be low-key bisexual, well, she wasn't low-key about it, but since she used to be bisexual and that's still one of her close friends, that she's going to carry her to the party. And I wonder why Sheree hasn't been on Kim's show before because she should have been on there by now, especially since she's the one that hooked up Kim and Croy. But anyway, um, Kim is asking, just asking her questions about the group. Like, where is everybody? What's going on with everybody? And she gets to Kenya. You know, Kim and Kenya don't get along. But, um, she, um, um, she giving Kim all the tea. Um, but Kim gonna say, um, she don't think Kenya really married. And then she heard that the person that that Kenya did marry is just some fan that Kenya done drug up from somewhere. 
that she married that he ain't even you know but i don't believe that i'm gonna tell you why that's not true because like i said chef roble already done said that was his friend so he wasn't just a, a nobody fan that she married so now we know that and that's not true because like if you go back to my last video um not my last video but my video on kenya's husband you will see the receipts in there that it is legitimate and yeah so anyway uh, she carried Kim, and I couldn't wait to see how Nene was going to react, and she was happy to see Kim, which was great. Um, Lisa Wu was there. I think Lisa needed to be added back to the cast. I wanted Lisa added back to the cast a couple of years ago, even after she got a, a, a divorce from Ed. She still should have been added back to the cast. I love her. She's always doing stuff. I still see her in the public eye a lot, so I just feel like she should have been added back on there. Um... Was it Basketball Wives she uh made an appearance on? I can't remember. Maybe Basketball Wives. Something else. She's done made an appearance on a couple of shows. But I think she should be back on here because we love Lisa. Lisa be keeping it real, honey. She'll beat you up. But uh, <laughs> anyway, so they finally gone in the house. And <laughs> Kim is out of the box about to earn this, this Bravo check because she started serving Kenya so much shade. I'm going to tell you, it felt so good to see somebody give Kenya a dose of her own freaking medicine. All the shade and all the side remarks Kenya be saying could not compare to how, how Kim was just putting them on her, putting them on her back to back, back to back. But Kenya going to do like she always do, go low key and um go below the belt. And start talking about, the, talking about Kim kids. Let me tell you some. uh... What's this girl named Kenya? We done told you kids is off limits. We done told you that and you don't want to grasp that. You going to mess around and go on and get your butt handed to you. What she said about that, what what she said about Briella was, sorry, how about you pip your kids for John Legend tickets. They, I, I follow them on Twitter. I don't know if any of y'all do, but I follow all of them on Twitter. And you know how, you have to watch Kim's show to know how she is. Like, they have the relationship like I have with my kids. We're always making jokes. We tweet stuff. But if, if you are a fan of, the, fan of theirs and you watch them, then you know it's a joke. And number one, and if and can you dislike her so much, why are you following her and her whole family on Twitter? That's the real tea. Like, can you, can, I mean, Kim was surprised. She's like, you seen my Twitter? You following her on t on Twitter, stalking around her Twitter. You got to be stalking her Twitter to see that. I'm a fan, so I'm going to read it. But if you don't like her and you ain't no fan, you shouldn't even be following her and keeping up with it anyway. So, girl, bye. So, anyway, she going to say some old low-key stuff like that. Honey, she done caught that couch on top of her head and busted one of them butt implants she got. Kenya would have went home with one side of her booty flat and the other side still looking like a hard brick inside of it. No, no, Kenya. No, baby. Ain't no way. So, um... Anyway, everybody around her is just looking like, you know, Kenya, that's too much. Even Nene, everybody was just like, you know, that's too much. Because we already know if, if it was one of Lisa Wu kids, she'd have got up karate chop and kickbox punch Kenya over behind that cow somewhere. And she'd have been over there looking like she'd been drugged through the swamp. But, uh, anyway, I think the show turned out pretty doggone good. It was a good episode. It's finally heating up. It's been a little chilly. The episodes have. But it was good to me because it tells a story and it builds up. And it felt less fake this season. Because, like I said, it's building up to the storyline. Like, it's it's more realistic. And it's just, like, not so scripted this season. And so, I like it. And then, um, Marlo, one of them pointed out Sheree's shirt, which was super cute. It was a dog carrying a bone because, you know, she got that little thing. Because I carry all the bones, honey. And she better go and throw a patent on that and go on and cash in on it. Apparently, she is. She got her little tank on. She on a cute little white outfit. Go ahead, Sheree. <laughs> you going to see how she by Sheree here in a minute, even if it is a t-shirt line. How does she buy Sheree t-shirt? That's okay. I'll buy one if they fit across these, this rack I got up here, honey. All right. So, I'll see y'all in the next video. Be sure to click the little bell beside the subscribe button.
You better put it on this side because my face on this side. So you got a subscribe button and the and the bell. And if you click it, you'll get my notifications on my next show review, my latest hairstyles, and any hauls that I do. I thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.